So will Miss Mason find out? Well, I'm sure she will. She's pretty zero tolerance on bullying. Anyway, your mum's gonna want something done about it. Well, what's she gonna do with it? Philip, this is your first day. How we just forget about it? <sighs> Listen, I know it's hard standing up to bullies, but... Well, what's gonna happen to them? Well, if it was up to me, I'd exclude them for a week. Oh, great. So, when they come back, it'll be ten times worse. Come on, we're going to see Miss Mason now, OK? No, 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 no. I can't, I can't. Listen, just tell her your worries. Sir, I can't. Why not? She's my aunt. Who is? Miss Mason. The head teacher? Yeah, she's my mum's sister. <laughs> Ollie, I wasn't supposed to tell anyone. Finally, please! Ask me who Rachel Mason's sister is. She hasn't got a sister. She does, and she works here. Miss Ryan. No. No! Yeah, her nephew just told me. It, it was just a bit of a laugh, sir. Hilarious. You do know that Philip's mum's a member of staff here, don't you? When she gets hold of you too. we well, better make sure it's A grades all the way. It's just naked nepotism. Get to your lesson. We're putting you through the charade of a selection process. She can't do that. Wasn't there a case a few years ago? I'm sure a head teacher. She's got the sack for giving access to the job. Look, if it's not a teaching post, then she can appoint who she likes. Salut, Monsieur Lawson. Keeping you busy? What is it, Steph? Well, I have got a little bone to pick with you and Miss Mason. About her and Melissa. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Steph, what are you going on about? You don't know, do you? Rachel and Melissa are sisters. Seriously? Oh, yes. As true as I'm standing here in my slingbacks. What? All right, Auntie Rachel. You never learn, do you? Oh, look, um, I didn't tell you because I wanted Melissa to make her own mark. I wasn't deliberately trying to deceive anyone. You see, that's another lie. That's exactly what you did. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. The interviews? You put members of our staff through a bogus interview. You concealed your relationship to one of the candidates. When Ralph Meller finds out, and I can't even tell him that she was the best candidate because Steph or Grandy would have done a better job. What the hell were you thinking of? I, I, I needed... You needed what? You needed what? Another stick for Ralph Meller to beat you with? I needed someone I could trust. I needed an ally. I, I don't know, after last year... You needed an ally? So what am I, then? I'm sorry. Laterality. Coordination of the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Come on, Rose. Believe it or not, this actually helps with reading and writing. Turn around. Faster, faster, faster. Good work, Clarence. Turn around. And stop. <laughs> Brilliant. Give yourselves a clap. <sighs> what the bloody hell use is that, anyone? Jumping around like a Muppet. I've not learned one thing. You know what, Rose? I think you'd be better swapping places with your Sam surrounded by 13-year-olds. Yeah, because we've had a whinge in all morning. Who asked you for an opinion? I don't need to be asked, love. All right, ladies, come on. Is there a difference between crap and the stuff that comes out of your mouth? Oh, come on. Uh, can yeah. you on. get on with your brown nose and... Oh! Stop it! No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Delivering PowerPoint presentations to nice people in suits is one thing, but this is Waterloo Road. Get off! Stop them! Clarence, do something! Melissa has no formal teaching qualifications, no experience! Clarence! Stop! Clarence! Do something! OK, yeah, it was a stupid decision not to tell you about us. It's gone far beyond stupid. Forget that you lied to me, the governors, the staff. Hang on. I do have delegated authority in relation to appointments, you know. It was blatant favouritism. You wouldn't be the first head to lose a job over something like this. 
Look, Melissa can connect with this community. You know that, you've just seen it. It's a fight. They won't stop. Look, yeah. you'd have to be Mr. Fantastic to get your arms around me. Now pack it in. What the bloody hell's going on here? You two, outside now. Thank you, Clarence. Oh, uh, I really apologise that you had to see that. Um, look, you know where the dining hall is, so if you can just head down there and we'll see you in there. Thank you. I do apologise for that. I'm going to have to head down for lunch and try and salvage things. Well, uh, I'll get my bag. You know what? Don't bother, because I'll talk to them first. Why don't you see what Eddie's doing? Give me one reason I shouldn't send the pair of you packing. You're an employee here. You should know better. I feel like sending you both to the cooler. You can go and join your Bolton. What, what's he done? Why is he in there? He tied her son up in the toilets. Philip, what's happened? He's fine. Go get your lunch. I'll talk to you later. I think you need to be in the canteen with your sister. Oh, sorry. Don't apologise. I know I want your idea to keep us all in the dark. Rachel's been getting a bit freaked, hasn't she? Are you aware what Rachel's been through this last year? Uh, yeah, I do know she's had a pretty rough ride. And then some. A lot of people are waiting for her to fall flat on her face. The last thing she needs right now is a, another failure. 